And you've got uh, some examples of baffles. I do. Did you want to show those? I don't, uh, here is a typical, or maybe not typical, this is a good squirrel baffle. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's even got some decorative scallops at the bottom. Oh, and it's got a hole to it. It's, it's made to go on a large pole, not a shepherd pole. They're much too short. Yeah. I'll show you another way to stop squirrels coming up a shepherd pole. But this is made to put on a pole that's, and you don't need it four and a half, five feet high. And it's too big for the squirrel. They can climb the pole because they can get their hands around it and climb. They can't get their hands around this to grip it well enough. I love that you call it their hands. I'm the same it, way. Well, they have hands. <laughs> they are hands, yeah. And uh, so they get up here and they just can't. They'll reach and yeah. try to... And it is fun to watch, too. It is. And I, try to get I find the no yeah. matter how long this thing's been out there, they will inevitably come up and try to... Yep. They'll climb up the pole and go yeah. up in here and you'll see the tail hanging I out know. while they're investigating. Yeah. And then they come out and say they can't so do cute. it. 